Hi, this is Jack Canstall. I'm here at the Canstall Factory today. We're talking about the beauty of an instrument. An instrument is a work of art, and it's beautiful. But what really makes the art come to life is the sound that it can produce. Because we make musical instruments, so it's about the production of sound. At Canstall here, we try to concentrate very hard on that on the production of sound. We'd like to think, rather than making just a Michelangelo, we're actually making a Stradivarius. It's the sound of the instrument. You've heard us talk before in our ads about nothing resonates like a cancel. Resonance is very important. The resonance has to do with the quality of the sound. It's not just volume of sound. There's many instruments that put out a large volume of sound, but what does the timbre, the color, tonal color of the sound, that's even more important. Maybe to illustrate, we could think of a piano. If you put the mute uh, stop on a piano and you hit the note, you just get the fundamental. It's very boring in sound. It's the note, but it's just that note. But when you let it resonate over the keyboard and you get the harmonics added to the sound. Now all of a sudden that sound takes on a whole new meaning, doesn't it? See, because you're hearing the overtones and other sounds and tonal colors that are part of music. So at Canstall, we've worked real hard. My father, as many of you know, did this for 66 years at the bench and he worked for some of the best names in the industry at the Olds, Benj, Besson, Kane, Kahn, many of these companies. And he always concentrated on sound, the production of sound. Because in the end, that's what matters. We're musicians. So no matter how well the instrument looks, if it doesn't sound up to the way it looks, that's not a good thing. We actually want it to sound the best we can possibly make it. And that's what we strive to do here. We call that here the art of instrument making, something that was passed down from generation to generation. For us, it's been almost 200 years. It started with the brass room industry in this country, with the Graves Company, and then they partnered with uh, Wright, and then together they formed the famous Boston Musical Instrument Company. That's where James York apprenticed in the 1870s. He formed the famous uh, York and Sons Band Instrument Company in uh, 1882. And that is where Foster, a young Foster Reynolds apprenticed in 1903, who had a very successful career, as many of you know. Later on, he ended up at the Olds factory my dad ended up coming to the Olds factory in 53, and so 50 years later, Foster Reynolds passed all this knowledge that had been accumulated in the industry the last 200 years to make the sound that you hear today in a canstle. And we're very proud of that. We're second generation now. We're carrying on the tradition that my dad started, the legacy he left us. So we encourage you to contact your dealer, ask him to get you a cancel, try it out, and I think you'll find, if you do, what artists the world over have known for the last 30 years, nothing resonates like a cancel. Thank you for listening.